God's grace overcomes fear. Follow along in verse 13. When Gideon had come, he's down at the camp, remember, God sent him to listen. When Gideon had come, there was a man telling a dream to his companion. He said, I've had a dream. To my surprise, a loaf of barley bread tumbled into the camp of Midian. It came to a tent and struck it so that it fell and overturned, and the tent collapsed. Then his companion answered and said, This is nothing else but the sword of Gideon, the son of Joash, a man of Israel. Into his hand, God has delivered Midian and the whole camp. What a weird experience. Gideon goes down to get another assurance from God, and this is the conversation he hears. One man is talking to his friend, and he says, Hey, man, I just had a weird dream. There's this little barley loaf that tumbled down and knocked all our tents over. This is one of those Old Testament things you're like, Okay, this is kind of strange. And his friend responds by saying, Oh, you know what? That little barley loaf, that's Gideon, and God has delivered all the army into his hands. We're all going to die. Imagine what Gideon was feeling as he heard that. Whoa. This is crazy. How patient is God? It's, it's, Gideon, are you still afraid? Are you still uncertain? Come down here. I've got another encouragement prepared for you. Right? This was the moment that God could have said, how many times do I have to tell you I'm with you? Stop doubting me. Gideon, I'm done with you. I'm going to raise up another judge. God could have said that. But what a gentle God who shows loving kindness and tender mercy. He says, okay, Gideon, I know you're still shaking inside. I know you're still trembling. Come on down and let me assure you one more time. Let me let this sink into your heart. I mean what I say. I'm with you. My word's not going to fail you. This conversation that he overhears is God's grace coming to Gideon. This is God putting courage and strength and hope into Gideon's heart. My grace is sufficient for you, Gideon. My strength's made perfect in weakness. I know what you have. I know what you don't have. I know what you need, and I know what you're up against. And I'm more than enough to give you victory. You can see the change in Gideon. Verse 15 is, is a beautiful turning point. And so it was when Gideon heard the telling of the dream and its interpretation that he worshiped. He returned to the camp of Israel and said, Arise, for the Lord has delivered the camp of Midian into your hand. That was the moment grace filled his heart. He's down with his servant, and they're, they're listening in on the tent. And he gets this last assurance from God, and he just falls down right there, and he just worships God. Thank you, Lord. I know you're with me. God, I, I, I now I know, not just in my head, but in my heart, you're going to perform that good word that you've spoken to me. God, now I believe that you are able. Right? It's in his heart now. And look what he goes back. This is so cool. He's the one assuring them now. <laughs> he says, he looks his men in the eye and he's like, hey guys, God has delivered Midian into our hands. The man who needed reassurance is now the one going and assuring others God's going to do this. Whoa, okay, there's been a change in Gideon's conviction here. See, the math changed. He said it was 135,000 versus 300. I think Gideon realized his numbers were a little askew. It was actually 135,000 Midianites versus one almighty God. <laughs> Advantage, Gideon. <laughs> the math changed. He looked at his circumstances and he realized there's more for us than against us. And if God is for me, what should I fear? Who can be against me? You can go home and read the rest of the story. Please do. If you've never read it, you will be blessed. But for the purpose of today's sermon, I just want to emphasize the way that God's grace overcame his fear, calmed his spirit, and made him strong for the battle. Church, God is the one who delivers us from fear. That's what he does still today. And as we've seen in Gideon's life, he does this by giving us grace. He does this by speaking love and encouragement and grace into our hearts. Just as patient as he was with Gideon, 
so too he will be patient with you. Just like he comforted and encouraged this weak, trembling man, he'll do that for you as well. You see, Gideon was shaken at the circumstances he found himself in. But God gave him an unshakable faith. And that, that's what I want. That's what I want for you. That's what I want for me. So we look at our circumstances and we shake and we tremble because we realize what we're up against. We should also do the math and say, wait a second. There is an almighty God who has given me his son. He's given me his spirit. He's given me an unshakable faith. His grace overcomes fear. Are you afraid of man? What people will think of you, what they will say about you? Remember God's grace. In Christ you are his beloved and nobody can undermine your call. He's got a plan and a purpose for you. It doesn't matter what man says or thinks about that. Do you wrestle with uncertainty like Gideon? Going back and forth between faith and doubt. Sometimes trusting God and sometimes doubting his goodness. Well, remember his grace. He takes the weak and makes them strong. Are you afraid you don't have enough? Maybe you don't have enough to go on, or maybe you won't have enough for tomorrow. Does it seem like what you are and what you have is insufficient? Then praise God, he's about to show that his grace is sufficient for you. Are you afraid of failing? Maybe you worry that you won't be able to please God or accomplish his purpose for your life. Well, remember his grace, your worth was never measured by your performance. It's only his love that makes you complete. It's only his mercy that makes you beloved in his eyes. It's not what you do to earn good standing with him. It's his love that changes us. And maybe you're afraid of death. Whether it's your own coming death or the pain of a loved one gone before us. Remember God's grace that's stronger than death. Remember his grace that runs through eternity and comforts our hearts. The Spirit seals us forever. We read it a moment ago, Psalm 34, verse 4. I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. God's grace overcomes fear. Amen.